Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Appify, especially if you're a beginner. Appify is an incredible platform for web scraping, automation, and data extraction. If you're a developer looking to build your own scrapers or someone aiming to automate repetitive tasks, Appify makes it easy to get started. In this video, I'll guide you through signing up for Appify, introduce you to its features, and help you understand how to use it effectively. So let's dive in and get started. If you're new to Appify, let me give you a quick overview. Appify is a full stack platform for web scraping and automation. It allows you to extract and process data from websites, automate workflows, and integrate with other applications seamlessly. The platform offers pre-built scrapers, known as actors, that you can use instantly or customize to fit your specific needs. What makes Appify stand out is its robust cloud infrastructure, ease of use, and scalability, making it perfect for individuals and businesses alike. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for an Appify account. The process is straightforward and it only takes a couple of minutes. First, go to appify.com. Once you're on the homepage, click the Get Started button located at the top right corner of the screen. This will take you to the sign up page. On the sign up page, you'll see a few options for creating your account. You can sign in using Google, GitHub, or your email. If you prefer using Google or GitHub, simply click the respective button and follow the prompts. For this tutorial, though, I'll demonstrate signing up with an email. Enter your email address in the designated field and create a strong password. Make sure your password is secure and memorable. Once done, click the sign up button to proceed. After signing up, you'll be redirected to the Appify dashboard where you can start exploring its features and tools. Now let's take a look at the Appify dashboard and walk through its interface. On the left hand side, you'll notice a vertical menu with various options to help you navigate the platform efficiently. At the very top of the menu, you'll see your profile section displaying your account name and basic details. Below this is the store where you can explore over 3000 pre-built actors for web scraping and automation projects. These actors are categorized by use cases such as social media, AI, SEO tools and more. Next, we have the Actors tab. This is where you can manage all the actors you've created or added to your account. You can view, run, or edit them directly from this section. Following that is the Schedules tab, which allows you to automate tasks by scheduling actors to run at specific intervals. The Storage tab is where you can manage the data collected from your actors. It provides an organized view of all your scraped data. The Proxy tab lets you configure proxy settings to ensure your scraping tasks run smoothly without being blocked. Further down, you'll find the Settings tab, which is your go-to for configuring account preferences and API keys. The billing tab allows you to manage your subscription, track usage, and view invoices. At the very bottom, there's a documentation section where you can find helpful guides and resources and a help and resources tab to access customer support and community forums. The dashboard also displays your memory usage and free usage credits, making it easy to monitor your account limits. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We develop top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now, let's discuss what actors are in Appify and how you can use them effectively. Actors are pre-built or custom-made tools in Appify designed to perform specific tasks like web scraping, data processing, and automation. Think of them as scripts that automate tasks you'd otherwise have to do manually. With over 3,000 actors available, you're likely to find one that fits your needs. To run an actor, make sure you're on the Store tab. Here, you'll see a vast collection of actors organized by categories like social media, AI, SEO tools, and more. If you have a specific actor, in mind, simply search its name in the search bar. For this tutorial, we'll run the Website Content Crawler Actor. Click on it and you'll be taken to the Actors page. Here, you can find detailed information about the Actor, including its purpose, input requirements and output format. To start the Actor, you can click the Start button located at the top left corner of the page. But we're not going to start just yet. Let me guide you through the key details on this page first. First of all, we have the Start URLs field. In this field, you can enter the website URL you want to crawl. You can also customize additional settings like crawler type, HTML processing, and output settings. Once everything is set up, hit the Start button. The actor will now begin processing. Once it's finished, you'll see a success message indicating that the task was completed. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the results, which you can view in various formats like text, JSON, or a table. You also have the option to export, integrate, delete, or even resurrect the results. If you want to share your results or the actor itself, simply click on the share button at the top right corner of the page. 
This allows you to collaborate with others or showcase your work easily. Now let's talk about how to integrate Appify with other platforms. Integrations are essential for extending the functionality of Appify and connecting it with your existing tools and workflows. To get started, click on the Settings tab from the left menu. Once you're in the Settings section, navigate to API and Integrations. This section is specifically designed to help you manage API tokens and set up third-party integrations. On the API and Integrations section, you'll find your API user ID at the top. This is unique to your account and allows external systems to identify and interact with your Appify account. Below that, you'll see the Personal API Tokens section. A default token is automatically created when you sign up. If you need additional tokens for different applications or security purposes, you can click the Create a New Token button. Once created, you can manage these tokens by editing or deleting them as needed. Under the Connected Third Party Accounts section, you can set up integrations with external platforms. If you haven't connected any accounts yet, this section will display no integrations connected. To add an integration, simply click the Add Account button and follow the instructions to link your desired platform, such as Slack, GitHub, or Google. This allows Appify to send data directly to these platforms or trigger actions based on your workflows. Now, let's talk about Appify's pricing plans. No matter if you're a beginner or a business professional, Appify has a plan that suits your needs. Appify offers five plans. The free plan is perfect for individuals just getting started. It costs $0 per month and is great for exploring the platform and running smaller tasks with limited resources. The starter plan costs $49 per month and is ideal for individuals or small teams who need additional resources and capabilities. It provides more usage limits than the free plan. The scale plan is at $199 per month. It is designed for growing teams or businesses with higher usage needs. It offers a significant increase in resource limits and additional features. For large-scale businesses, the business plan costs $999 per month and includes advanced features, high limits, and priority support. Lastly, the enterprise plan offers custom pricing. This plan is tailored to meet the unique needs of large organizations, with dedicated support and custom solutions available. Appify is a full stack platform for web scraping and automation. It allows you to extract and process data from websites, automate workflows, and integrate with other applications seamlessly. The platform offers pre-built scrapers, known as actors, that you can use instantly or customize to fit your specific needs. What makes Appify stand out is its robust cloud infrastructure, ease of use, and scalability, making it perfect for individuals and businesses alike. And that's it for this tutorial. Today we covered how to sign up for Appify, explored its dashboard, discussed how to run actors, integrate with other platforms, and even reviewed its pricing plans. I hope this tutorial made everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Appify, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.